Spearbot log number two. Um, I made some changes since last time. I uh, cut bigger sidewalls. Uh, I went up to 15 centimeters, up from the original 10 centimeters on the plan I was looking at. Uh, I used a 7 eighths spade to uh, route out the little raised part of the stepper motor. So it now lays flat against the acrylic. Previously, it was uh, they weren't quite flush, but it worked pretty good. Uh, also. I extended out this rod to make the wall sit back further so the pen can actually now go from suction cup to suction cup. Um, what else have I done? I think those are the major improvements. Um, right now I'm just printing a logo. As you can see, I used a lot A of these balls for testing. No, that one was incomplete. I'm still working on communication problems that I seem to be having, but there's one I did of a shamrock uh, at St. Patrick's Day, so I made my son uh, a couple of these. The problem with these balls, you can get a gross of them off of Amazon for like $8, is if I wipe my thumb over this a few times, the ink comes right off. So they're really only good for calibration and to let the kids play with them. And uh, I'm currently using two easy stepper drivers with an Arduino Delaminov. Um, for my next project, I actually have a bunch of Pololus and a uh, Arduino Mega, and I have my RepRap ramps uh, shield up on the way, coming slowly from China. So this is it. This is my Spearbot. I spent most of the day tweaking it, um, getting the sides level, or at least to the point where when I drew something, it was an oblong or off shape, um, which happened a lot. And one thing I really had to do was uh, that set screw. You really have to tighten that pen in there. Oh, yeah, the other thing, I replaced the metal uh, hinge that was on the back that had a lot of play with it with the nylon one meant for a radio-controlled airplane. And it's a little bit flexible, but it seems to be holding up pretty well. Now, um, when things weren't calibrated, the pen would stick a lot to one side or the other. But now that I have it pretty much centered, um, that problem seems to have gone away. So, there it is. My completed for now Spearbot. And uh, done in time for Easter. And we're going to have to go out and buy some eggs and let the kids figure out a design. The only thing I noticed, and maybe it's because these ping pong balls are so small because they're not really ping pong balls, um, is anything with really small detail you really can't see. So, happy St. Patrick's Day everyone, and if I ever update this, I'll put out a Spearbot Log 3. Thanks.